morning everybody so today we're going to do a quick vlog I'm eight weeks post-op this week and I haven't been getting massages for about two and a half weeks now I've been super busy taking care of my grandma she has surgery she broke her collarbone and just life in general so uh, I apologize right now I just woke up I took a quick shower I have any I don't even have makeup on so and my lips are probably crusty as hell so let's get to it and I'm late, it's already 8.35, and I'm supposed to be there at 9.30. And this place is like an hour away. So, let's get going, and I apologize again if I look crusty and ugly, but I have no makeup on, and I'm in a rush. So, let's go. Alright guys, so I just made it, it's 9.31, so I'm a minute late. So I'm going to just take my butt inside, and hopefully this massage doesn't hurt, because I haven't been here in two weeks. So let's see what machine she puts me on, if it's something different. Um, well, let's see. Let's go see. So, just... see, this is where it is. I just realized I didn't have a bra on. Oh, Lord. Buenos dias. Okay, so I just made it and Victoria, the owner, is here to greet me. Hey, Hi, Victoria. Amor, ¿cómo estás? Ay, good job. Oh my god. Yo también, mira. Ay, qué lindo estás, ¿eh? De rápido, entonces no me puse mi faja porque me bañé. Ay, no tengo tiempo. Entonces quería grabar para saber qué más que me van a poner hoy porque todos están preguntando. Vamos a empezar a hacer como un tratamiento de. Eh, de mantenimiento. Okay. Ahora ya, vas, ya no vamos a estar enfocados en el postoperatorio. Mira, llegó nuestra famosa. Hola, doctora. ¿cómo estás? ¿Sí? Quiero verte. No tengo los bajos puestos porque me bañé rápido y dije, voy a estar Pero ni el fondo ni nada. nada. ¿Cómo te sientes? Mi brazo. No. <risa> Okay, ladies, so I'm here at Victoria's Heavenly Spa, and today Victoria says that we're going to do the LipoSmart or the LipoSmart machine. So I'll just change into... Okay. And mind you guys, I haven't been here in about two weeks. And this is how I look right now. So here it's still a little bumpy. So they're gonna target this area right here. And just to weigh, I think earlier it was said one, one's 151.3. But with the camera, it's 151.4. So we're going to get going. I'm going to try to record as best as I can for this vlog. Okay guys, so I've been on the machine for about maybe 5 to 10 minutes and it's warming up so I guess this machine is supposed to heat up. I know she said something about heating up the fat. It's like lipo smart so it's basically burning your fat, the fat cells or whatever. I told her I wanted her to target my stomach. So now I'm on this machine and then I'm going on a secondary machine right after. 
So I'll let you guys know how it's feeling in about another five or ten minutes. So update, it's another five minutes. It's just getting hotter and hotter. It's not burning my skin, it's not irritating. It's basically like a warm blanket on me, so. And there's no vibration, I don't feel anything besides heat. So, it's making me feel relaxed. Like I wanna go to sleep, <laughs> but I can't cause I wanna vlog this. So, let's see. I wonder if it's gonna heat up a little bit more after this. I'm not sure. I think she said this has to be on for about 30 minutes. I think she said. Because the other machines that I've been on were like 20 to 30 minutes. The one I used to be on was the pressure one. It's like got like arm cuffs and my legs and my stomach. And it was more to push the fluid out so I can... So after that, I can get my massages and it would help pump the fluid out the incisions. And that was like 30 minutes. The secondary one was the Futura Pro. That one was the one you guys saw in my pictures. If you guys are on my Instagram, a lot of people have been asking about it. It, um, it basically looked like an EKG thing where they put like several little circles around your body. Like on my arms and my stomach, my back. And that one, that one wasn't heat, but it was more like vibration. And it made me like made my muscle like job like really really tense and I was kind of scared in the beginning but I got used to it until like where I maxed out the machine because it goes like by percentage like the lower it is the less you'll feel and I was like hey I want it at a hundred so she was like it's rare to have people come in and do a hundred percent on that machine but I was like yeah like my right arm no just can use my left arm that wasn't really feeling it so I was like max it out and at 100, that's when I started feeling a little bit of sensation feeling in my arm. The rest of my body was like jumping and twitching and whatever, but it wasn't a scary, weird feeling. It was just more of a, well, it was weird because I never had my body like jerk, like, like constantly, or, like on purpose. But I think after this machine, they're going to put me back on that one. And on that machine, it has different settings. So I know in the beginning... When I was using it, it was more for lymphatic, so pushing the fluid out so I can use the restroom and just, you know, pee it out. This this time, she says she's going to switch the settings, and I think it's more for maintenance and body contouring. So, don't get me wrong, I really don't think that's what they're, I mean, I really think that's what they're doing, but I'm not 100%. So, after this, then we're going to get on it. So hopefully after a few sessions on this machine and other maintenance plans that they have, um, my targeted stubborn areas go away and flatten out and smoothen out. Because after the surgery, my stomach was like my main concern. Um, there was like, a lot of fatty areas that wasn't going away even with compression and waist training and all that. It was just wasn't going away so hopefully with these machines they end up going away so i'll keep you guys updated throughout this uh journey and just showing you guys updates on these machines i just wanted to show you guys because a lot of people have been asking me what have i been doing if i was still getting massages and you know just working out so i'm gonna keep you guys updated just and make sure you guys subscribe to this channel so and hit the bell so you guys can get notifications and I'm trying to keep you guys updated on a weekly basis, but recently it's just been really, really horrible because life. But I promise you guys, I'm getting better at it. Okay, so the machine just finished and it was heating up to the point where I'm like, Ugh, hopefully this hurries up and finishes and beeps. But as soon as the beep uh, happened, the heat just like turned off. Well, it's like slowly going away. So now I'm going to hop into the second machine and Maybe it's the same one that I was talking about. So, let's get going. I'm just going to wait for the ladies to come in and unplug this machine out.
up and my whole body is like tingling. Let me see. Um, hook it down to the machine and it has like your whole body like each little circle is like connected. Like I think I have two on my arm and then several on my back. My butt looks lopsided because of my dang underwear. I'm so red. So with this one, it's not new. I've been doing this one for maybe the last three, four times. But they did change the settings to more body contouring instead of lymphatic. I think this one has maybe 10 different settings, I think they said before. And all it does is like it vibrates, but it makes your, like, your muscles jump. And it's like really, really weird. You can't really tell. Why is my cheek so red? Let's see. And it's like a different series of movements. Like, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but my, my arms are like jerking, my arms are. If the camera's shaking, it's because my hands are like jumping. So this one's not really much of an update. My arms are jumping. Sorry, guys. Oh my god. So this one, I can't really give you an update. This is just, oh my god, I'm twitching my arm. Sorry. So I can't really give you guys an update. This is just a whole lot of movement. So after this, almost towards the end, I'll give you guys another update on what I'm doing next. Okay, so I think I maybe have another five or ten minutes on here. This machine's also another 30 minutes. Um, oh my god, my hair. I think my body gets used to like the, the like little twitches and jerks and whatever. Because my body's not twitching as much as it was earlier. Because I just shot it live on Instagram and oh, the ladies kept seeing my hand like this vibrate camera kept shaking like that. And I just had to get off because it was annoying. But I was just letting them know that this vlog is happening and it will be dropping soon. So let me just give you guys a quick little show of how it looks currently this is how the sides look don't mind my butt but oh jesus ow 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 i was just kidding because now it's twitching oh fuck ah! oh my arm oh i think it was like max speed oh okay relax oh god okay so I think after this I get another massage or I don't, I don't really know. I think they need to massage my arms because that is kind of hurting. Well, it's not hurting. It's just really lumpy. Once again, since it's really hot and I've switched Fajas and I stopped using theirs because it's a little bit big on me. And that one had the sleeves, so I was putting, oh crap, hold on, my arm. Okay, now it's like max speed. I spoke too soon. My back doesn't really jerk a lot. It's more my arms and my hands. This is a machine that's controlling it. Okay, let me cut this off and wait till they come in. Estamos haciendo un tratamiento de mantenimiento porque necesitamos darle más forma a esta figura. La liposucción no es magia. Si tú no te cuidas, puedes volver a ganar peso. Por eso siempre recomendamos. ¿No quieres volver al quirófano? Debes hacer un paquete de mantenimiento. Ya no tienes que venir todos los días como cuando hacemos el posoperatorio. Pero por lo menos al principio dos veces al mes para poder tornear la figura. Aquí estamos haciendo masaje en los brazos. All 
Alright ladies, so she just finished my massages and finished with the two machines like she was saying earlier. Make sure you guys do your maintenance on your massages at least twice a month even after your um, your initial package. This is my second package and I'm still going to purchase another one just to keep up with my maintenance on my stomach because I invested too much money on this and I want to keep, you know, keep up with my body. So that's it for the vlog and if you guys are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel for other bbl post-op care and beauty stuff and fitness my next one's going to be my chin lipo update and also i'm going to do my fitness one since i've been telling you guys that i started working out again all right guys till next time